Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Easy Dubs TV, man, and I'm back at it with another banger, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as we are on the road to 13k subs and we're getting closer and closer every day. And I can't do it without you, gang. So make sure you turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss out on any of the daily live streams or any 2k news and content more for it. And make sure to smash that like button. Let's try to get this video up to at least 30 likes. I know we can do it. Let's take out three seconds to like up the vid. And it's greatly appreciated. So with Black Friday just passing and Christmas coming up and with 2K making 2K23 a lot, lot, lot more affordable as far as the actual game goes. Nothing with the VC. Keep your eyes out for that one. <laughs> with the game being a lot more accessible now, I think now is the perfect time to go ahead and drop one build that anybody who's just now getting their hands on the game can have some type of an experience doing everything in the game as far as overpowered finishing, really good playmaking where they can ISO, be able to shoot consistently, and be able to defend on a high level. Now is the time that I finally drop this build. <laughs> Y'all gonna wanna stay tuned in, stay locked in, because this build is different than any other build you've seen on YouTube. Certain things are going to be similar, but y'all going to see why I do things different, all right? Now, to start off, we're going to go with shooting guard for the position, right for the hand, or for the hand, but I mean, like, you can go right, left, doesn't really matter. I uh, really like to go right, but that's a preference, same with the jersey number. But y'all already know on the channel, my number is 14, so that's what we rock with. Now, for the height, we're going to go 6'7", weight, we're going to go 184. And then wingspan, we're gonna max out to 74. Body shape, we just don't do slide around here. So you can go with anything else. I just normally go with defined. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put up all the stats and then we're gonna go back through and break it down, all right? Now, for the close shot, you're gonna get a 60. For the driving layup, you're gonna get an 80. For the driving dunk, you're gonna get an 86. And then for the standing, you're gonna leave there. Post control, you're not gonna move up. Now, mid range, you're gonna get a 72. Three pointer, you're gonna max out in the 85. Free throw, you're gonna leave at a 60. Pass accuracy, you're bringing up to a 75. Ball handle, you're bringing up to an 89. And then speed of ball, you're gonna bring up to a 75. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, interior defense, you're gonna bring up to a 68. Perimeter defense, you're gonna bring up to an 87. Steel, you're gonna bring up to a 99. Block, you're bringing up to a 75. Defensive rebound, you're bringing up to a 50. And then acceleration, you're gonna bring up to an 83. And then your speed, you're bringing up to an 80. Strength, you're gonna leave at 43. Vertical, you're gonna bring up to a 75. And then the rest is gonna go into your stam. Or uh, matter of fact, what did I do here? Because this says I had a 94, so what did I end up? Oh, no. Okay, I know what I did. Never mind. Put one stat into pass accuracy. There you go. So you should have a 94 stamp. So your stats should look like this. You should have 13 finishing, 19 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 20 defense. Now, the reason why I went with 80 driving layup is because you get a lot of layup packages at 80. For your driving layup but it also more importantly gives you hall of fame giant slayer to anybody who's used giant slayer from my small guards to my six sevens already giant slayer is pretty broken like this is what's going to help you make a lot of those contested layups especially against the bigger defenders so it's really important to have your driving layup on the 80 just in case that driving dunk doesn't work out for you but you still get gold limitless takeoff on this build and you're going to get access to all the pro contact dunks and silver posterizer now if you complete the my career storyline at least up to the point where you are a starter you should get four extra badge points my suggestion to you is to at least at least put you might have to put all four in the uh in the finish reason being is so that way you can get 17 which will give you enough to get your gold limitless takeoff it's just kind of how the way things go or you can try to go for silver poster but me personally obviously i would rock limitless takeoff then shooting the reason why you have a 72 mid-range it's just so you can get an extra shooting badge in there 
doesn't hurt to have, you know, plenty of shooting. 85 is going to be good enough because you're going to be able to shoot consistently because that green window is going to be big enough. And you're going to get silver limitless range where now you're going to be able to pull consistently from the hash. So if you need to spot up or you end up finding yourself further out than uh, normal from the three point line, you'll be able to shoot that consistently. 60 free throw, I've been experimenting with it, is actually the perfect amount for you to be able to hit free throws consistently in record program. Trust me on that one. We went 76 for the pass accuracy. Um, 75, you get the LeBron James passing style, or you really don't even have to use a passing style, and those two options are gonna be your best for passing this year. Having Curry, having Magic Johnson, having LaMelo Ball, they get a lot of load up animation, so I played around with pass accuracy. I got a build with an 86, and I got my first build that I made with an 80. Trust me, 76 is gonna be just fine. And the reason why we went with 76 is because obviously you get one more uh, playmaking badge. 89 ball handle so you will be able to iso with this build you have hall of fame quick first step gold unpluckable gold color combos you'll be able to do whatever you really need to do on this build as far as creating a shot or if you want to play a little bit more passive you'll still be able to back off and you'll be able to take a sh well i guess you'll be able to run right past somebody because you got hall of fame quick first step and then 75 speed with ball as everybody knows by this point in the year speed with ball really doesn't matter only reason why I have it up to a 75 is so that way you can get that Michael Jordan, um, what's it called? Michael Jordan dribble style. But other than that, you don't really need some super high because your acceleration has more to do with your actual speed with the ball than speed with ball does. It's a weird thing, but that's just how the game works this year. Now, interior defense, you're not going to be able to stop no 6'9 from mashing on you. I'm just letting you know that now. You might be able to position yourself correctly and kind of cut them off and then that you know your block is going to be able to help but you might get scored on but it's not going to be by like everybody gets scored on i can't even lie about it everybody gets scored on in the paint this year no matter what you got yes certain builds get more stops consistently than others but everybody gets scored on it just is what it is now this may be a little controversial me personally i don't think you need a super high perimeter defense everybody's gonna say well what about these small guards really most of the time, at least with me, all my other builds this year have nothing higher than the 87 or an 88 perimeter defense, and I can stay with small guards. Now, a lot of that is stick skill, a lot of that is IQ and knowing how people play, but most of the time, I mostly get hit with screens than I do little guys being able to create space and get away from me. Shout out to 2K for that drone, because that really does help. So I don't think you really need a super high perimeter defense. Plus on top of that, like trying to get clamps to that gold tier is gonna make you mess up other stats. And are you really gonna sacrifice seven defensive badges to get gold clamps when you have Hall of Fame glove and Hall of Fame interceptor? Thanks to having a 99 steal. Everybody knows that this year really steals are the most broken thing on defense and they're everybody's go-to. I can't really blame anybody because in every 2K, they always make it so that offensive players move faster than defensive players. So having Hall of Fame glove, Hall of Fame interceptor is going to be able to help you get the ball right back. So if someone takes it from you, you can snatch it right back out of their hands. 75 block just so you can get that gold chase down artist. I mean, chase downs are already nerfed. The whole animation itself is nerfed this year. Having gold isn't a bad option. And then we have 50 defensive rebound just so we can get that extra badge. So now you have 20. 83 acceleration, 80 speed is gonna be good enough to keep up with most people in the game. 43 strength, yeah, that's a little bit to be desired, but you can't have everything. 75 verse, so you still get all those pro contact dunks like I talked about. And then 94 stam, it's gonna be pretty good. Now, this is the only build that I've seen so far that's able to get slashing, shot creating, sharp, and lock take. All four literally, arguably, are the best takes in the game. So you can do whatever you want. And then when you get Mama Mentality, you can switch between all these at will. But look at that, slashing, shot creating, sharp and lock take all on one build. So you could break ankles on this build too if you really wanted to. Like I said, it's the best all around ISO lock demon meta friendly build that a person can possibly make, bruh. And if you made it correctly, you should get shades of DeJounte Murray, Eddie Jones, and Paul George for a two-way three-point shot creator. Now, like we talked about earlier, the best thing that you can do for this build, honestly, is complete that My Career storyline, 
get your four badges and put in the finishing so you can get your limitless takeoff on gold or if you don't care to have it on gold right here right now and you plan on playing the game for longer points into the year where you're gonna at least hit level 39 each season you can plan on that and then throw those badges in there later when you hit 39 and get that one extra badge point me personally since i hit um level 39 twice so far and i re complete the storyline i get six extra badges so me i'd probably go if you have all six i would put four into finishing so you can get your gold limitless takeoff and then with the other two badges personally i would go ahead and put them in the defense i mean playmaking and shooting you're gonna be pretty solid on but you really can't go wrong with whatever you choose but yeah, this is the overall build. Like I said, 80 for the driving layup, which is huge. 86 driving dunk. You get an 85 three-pointer, 72 mid-range, so you unlock those shot creating takeovers. 76 pass accuracy, so you have enough to get the LeBron James passing style. 89 ball handle, Hall of Fame quick first step. 99 steals, so you get Hall of Fame interceptor and glove. 87 perimeter defense, which is good enough to get you Hall of Fame menace. And then you get a 75 block for those gold chase downs and really really decent physicals this build really isn't lacking in any department like i said this is going to be more of a meta friendly build if you just now got the game this build is going to be your go-to because you'll be able to do everything and you'll be able to experience everything in nba 2k23 from a gameplay standpoint that this game has to offer but hey man if you enjoyed the video or you want to share it out make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and hit the like button too every like helps Likes will go ahead and tell YouTube to share the video out to more people. And we're trying to get this fam even bigger. Because we are right around the corner at 13k, man. But hey, until later on tonight, y'all, well, you can definitely catch me in the live stream. It's been your boy, Easy Doves TV. And I'm signing off, y'all. Y'all be easy, man.